Hey YouTube and welcome to this episode of The Gunman. So today we're going to be doing a review and demonstration on the Anest Iwata W400 Classic Plus Bellaria. So I've actually done a review on this gun but with a 1.3mm setup on it for clear coats and base coats. So it is exactly the same gun just with a different fluid tip and needle in it. So I did actually check that, that you will, if you do decide you want to use this gun for primers and clear coats, you will actually need a separate needle, not just a separate fluid tip. So you will need to get them both separately. But there's nothing stopping you from doing that, which is probably a strong point of the gun, you know? There's nothing to say that you can't say, use this for your base coat, clear coat with a 1.4 mil through it, um, and when you're ready to do your primer stage, you can put your 1.8 or 2.0 mil on it. So there actually is quite a few different fluid tip sizes. There's seven from memory. So you got 1.8, 2.0, 1.6, 1.4, 1.3, 1.2, and you can even go right down to one mil with this gun. So quite a nice range of fluid tips, and I'd say that's definitely a strong point of the gun. So as you saw there, we just gave it a quick unboxing. Just keep an eye out for those little warranty cards and all those kind of things. If uh, if your gun comes with everything you just saw there, well then you've probably got yourself a genuine one. Uh, they probably do um, do some fake eyewaters, but I haven't seen many on the market. I've seen quite a few Devilbus and uh, Sardas being faked lately, um, but yeah. As I say, that there probably is some eyewaters out there. That's an uh, interesting little thing I'm pointing at. So they, they've always got two little um, letters on the side of the uh, Anastar water Bellarias, and they are actually just gun identifiers. So if you had uh, an arsenal of these, if you say had four or five of them, you had one for your primer gun, one for your clear coat, one for your base coat, one for your 2K direct gloss or something like that, you would actually be able to identify them through the little numbers there. With your Devilbus, they have like a little color ring that you can change out on the bottom of them. But with the um, Bellarias, uh, there's not much else on the gun that would actually let you know which one is which. Um, apart from those two little numbers, uh, sorry, letters down the bottom of the gun. So a little bit of info, some people don't know that, but um, yeah, that's all it is. Um, and the design itself, it, I love it. Like they're a great looking gun, you know, just that classic chrome finish to them. They just look absolutely beautiful. Um, and as you can see there, I'm where I'm doing my couple of first test sprays. The, the fan is absolutely ginormous. Like one of the only real qualms I have with this gun for primer is that it just feels too good. Like it just feels like it's too good to spray primer through. Um, you know, a gun of this quality just feels like you should be spraying clear coat or base coat through it. Um, I actually had one of these in 1.3 as I mentioned earlier and I did do a few reviews on it so check them out if you'd like to see this gun you know spraying clear coat and base coats and I was talked into selling it from a previous painter that I used to work with I didn't want to sell it but he just wanted it so bad and he just bugged me so hard over like three or four months I just ended up giving in and saying there you go just take it mate you know so yeah I'm, I'm glad I've actually got one of these in my hands again and I actually think what I might end up doing is just looking into getting a, a 1.3 setup for it again and using it for clear coat and base coat. So I did get this gun from Spray Guns Direct as usual, but this time I actually did a little bit of uh, research on it when I was researching the gun up, seeing how much they sell it for, how much I can get it locally for. Because the one that I bought years ago, uh, the one that I told you I was uh, talked into selling, that was one that I funded myself. Like I, you know, got the money up and bought it for like, I think it was 430 back then, but now they've yeah, gone up to around $450 locally here in Australia. So I checked on Spray Guns Direct website and they're up around 600 to 650 Australian dollars at current conversion rates. So um, look at that price, it's probably a bit above what I would be willing to pay for one of these guns, especially if it's just for primer. It is worth keeping in mind that they do do deals, so if you think that's a little bit above what you'd wanna pay, don't be shy to send them an email and they'll let you know what the best they can do on that gun is. Personally, myself, I wouldn't spend more than $200, much more than $200 on a primer gun, and I wouldn't wanna spend much less than $200 on a primer gun. So that's really the sweet spot for a primer gun for me. Yes, it's a great gun. Uh, look, the only time I would recommend uh, getting this gun for primer, honestly, would be if you just want one gun to rule them all type thing. 
so if you wanted to get one of these Bellarias and you wanted to use it for your clear coat base coat, get your 1.3, but then you didn't want to go and spend another $200 on a primer gun itself, you might be able to get a fluid tip and needle set up for around $100. I honestly haven't actually looked into that. Um, but yeah, that's definitely another option. So you can just switch those fluid tip and needles out, make sure it gets cleaned out extremely well, obviously, between your primer and your color and your clear stage, and you would actually have one gun to rule them all, so to speak. Um, but yeah, for just a dedicated primer gun, it's just too good. It really is, it's only let down. But um, it's cool that they have that option though. Like with your uh, Devilbus and even your SADA, like if you wanted to use a SATA Jet 5000 for primer, you don't actually have the option of getting a 2mm setup for it or a 1.8mm setup for it. With your Pro Lights, you can't just get a standard Pro Light with a 2mm or a 1.8mm. You ha actually have to go and get your PRI Pro Light. Or with your uh, SATA Jet, you'd have to go and say, get one of these, you know. Uh, what is that, the 1000 BFRP, um, or 100, sorry, 100 BFRP. I've got quite a few uh, primer guns now because we are doing, we're working our way towards a top 10 primer gun review. Um, so for those who missed some of the other uh, videos uh, in this series, the, the primer gun series, um, what we're going to be doing is doing uh, a standalone review for all the guns that I haven't already reviewed and then we'll do a top 10 shootout so I'll decide which one I which ones I think are the best and we'll do like a top 10 just with the usual criteria um, just quality um, and price and all those things included to you know say which gun I would recommend, which primer gun I would recommend you guys get. And at the end of that top 10 spray gun review, there will be three lucky winners who actually choose their own spray gun out of the top 10. So if you want to go for the absolute cheapest one you can, if you want to go for the most expensive one you can, all powered by Spray Guns Rex. So again, I'd just like to say a big thanks to them for making this review possible. But yeah, that's it for this review. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching. I think I covered everything I wanted to. Um, you know, be sure to leave a comment down below. I've been pretty busy lately, so I haven't actually been able to reply to as many as I would usually like to. But, um, you know, join in the discussion down below. There might be someone else who can uh, answer my question if I can't get to it. So, yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Share it around with your friends. Until next time, get out there and paint some shit. Gunman out.